Hey guys, welcome to my video. I'm Chanel and basically I'm just going to be doing a basic um, crochet style. If you are interested, please stay tuned. Okay, so I purchased the Freetress Braid Wand Curl um, times two and basically one pack of hair is equivalent to two packs of hair and I'm just showing here how the curl pattern is starting off with this hair. So each piece comes pretty thick and then in the back of the hair, in the back of my hair, I'm going to start by just putting the full piece in and I am going to use the knotless method, basically just pulling one string of hair through the loop and creating um, a knot. So I did do the window technique of me using two fingers spacing just in case I don't have enough hair I can always go back in and add hair at the end to any spots that I feel you know need to be a little bit fuller. But um, I did not split like I said I did not split the hair in the back but I would definitely split it in the front because I feel like with this hair it's better if it's thinner rather than thicker to look a little bit more natural and it will hold better. Now, of course, you can do the regular crochet method with this, um, with you pulling all of the hair through the loop. I think that that might be better. However, if you do do that, you can't do multiple knots, so it won't last. Um, it might slip. The knots may slip because you can't do multiple knots. Just because of the simple fact the hair is pretty thick and it will create a large knot. And um, the whole point about doing crochet braids, you don't want to see the knot. So you want it to look as natural as possible. Now I decided to get this hair because I needed some hairstyles that's going to hold up to me going to the gym at least four to five times a week. And I kind of feel like crochets is the best thing to do when it comes to working out. Now I could get braids which will probably be my next hairstyle is to get some twists or braids. But I want to try a few crochet hairstyles out. So if you know of any please drop them down below. I would love to hear about it. Now to give you a little bit of information on this hair, uh, I did use one pack of hair in this scene right here so I'm just showing you how much hair can be used in just one pack. As I said earlier, I am splitting it in the front. Now back to the details on the hair. The hair is a little bit, um, it is a little bit drying. Like it feels hecka soft but it looks dry. It is synthetic hair and um, just so you can get like a picture of this hair, it kind of reminds me of the Mama Twist hair. So if you ever had that, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. Especially the, 20, the number 27. It is more drying looking than the black, of course. So if you decide to get color hair, just be aware that the ends of the hair definitely is going to look kind of dry. Overall, I would say after, you know, a few days of wearing it, it does look a lot more natural. And the beauty about this is you don't have to wear about, you know, curling your hair because it always already comes curled. Now, I did randomly, randomly put the number 27 throughout my hair because I didn't want very much of it. And um, as you see here, I just kind of made it like a highlight throughout the hair. So after I completely installed the hair, I did cut the hair into like a bob shape. Okay, so this is all the hair that I have left once I finished. And it's basically all of the number 27 since I only use a few strands of it, a few pieces of it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or concerns, make sure you drop it down below. And also, if you know of any hairstyles that will hold up in the gym, please leave it down below. I would like to know about it. Thank you for watching. Talk to you guys later.